Hey there guys, it's Metro, and today I'm making a quick video to increase exposure for the add-on Call to Arms on Classic, especially Nostalrius and Elysium version 1.12. This is an incredible add-on, honestly, and I really want to get as many people using it as humanly possible. So I'm going to have the download in the description there, but I'm going to try to explain the basics of it, why you should definitely download it like 100% and show some of the actual functionality off for it. So immediately you'll see it populating a list with all these people uh, talking about finding a group and it's it's very 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 cool but before we do any uh, look at any of that let's talk about the actual add-on so it gets added to your uh, your mini map window there you can move it around just like any other add-on very basic but what it does is it's going to like show you anybody that's looking for a group up there right by the mini map you can change all of that as well okay it's very straightforward but uh, it does get a little bit spammy, like especially on the PvP, Nostalgia's PvP realm. There's a lot of people looking for stuff, and not all of it is stuff that you want to see. So uh, inside, once you click it, um, here is like the main tab, okay? And how this is being populated is anybody with the add-on, anytime they see anybody looking for a group, looking for more, anything like that, it gets added to this, okay? So the more people that have this add-on, the more populated this list will be. But if there is somebody who is in, say, every possible chat and, you know, seeing as many people as humanly possible, then all you ever really need is one person to do it. But it is fairly obvious when there's only like one or two people online with the add-on because there are no groups being populated until I actually go into world. And then I start populating the list for other people. Uh, so that's immediately a great reason for more people to download the add-on. The more people that have it, the more groups, you know, the more coverage we'll have of the world. So I'm talking about world chat, trade chat, general chat, and even saves and everything else, you know. If somebody is in this dungeon, I'm in Dire Mall East right now farming, and somebody says, I'm looking for a group, for something in here and only in general, then I will populate the list telling people that somebody in general chat of Dire Mall East is looking for a dungeon, you know what I mean? That is unbelievably valuable and is a major, major issue in Classic that gets resolved with this add-on. So I'm very impressed and uh, I'm excited for this add-on. Now, some of the other stuff that you can do with it, of course, is you could set some filters here. Uh, I tried to do these ones down here, the level filters, and I don't know, I, I didn't have any success with it. It doesn't seem to actually filter by level, but regardless, it's it's not that big of a deal. Like, you know, there's there's not going to be thousands of, of groups a minute. You could just, you know, search through them. It says there, you see, level 26 rogue. So obviously not trying to do that that group there as a level level 58 paladin but you could also select these things here uh, most of these are self-explanatory so we won't spend too much time on it but i just want to remind you guys that the uh, show empty groups show full groups these things are pretty important if you don't have these selected you probably you're going to lose out on a lot of groups and uh, it's kind of a bit nitpicky to be to be doing that but anyway the, the other really cool feature of call to arms and this is kind of like the main feature that we need everybody to have this add-on for uh, if you do this, you could actually start your own group with it. So uh, if hopefully you guys have seen this already by now, but if you're not, the functionality here is almost identical to the pre-made group finder that was added in the live version of World of Warcraft, Warlords of Draenor. Probably the one good thing that came out of Warlords of Draenor, honestly. And this this like add-on basically duplicates that feature years before that feature even got added so amazing as you see there on the top of the screen metro raffle no description given so i've started a group you can change the description say like oh i'm looking for zg whatever five man whatever you want to do and then you go back to the search results and you're going to see a different icon for this okay so all of these blue icons here are coming from a certain type of chat okay now, if you're getting this orange icon here, this is from an actual CTA group, call to arms group, all right, as you see there when you look at it the right side. And then, of course, uh, it gets like, I guess it just kind of keeps populating the list. So it's going to prioritize people who are making these groups with the add-on. And like I'm saying, the add-on is basically identical to the pre-made group finder. You could set how many people you need, the level you need. 
if it's like a private group, you could set a password. Uh, you could even set the class dis distribution, which is really cool. So uh, I say, well, we need one one mage for sure. Okay, we can't do whatever we're doing without a mage. So we need at least one mage. People will be able to see that I made a group and we need five. Uh, we have four people that are still needing to be in the group. I am one of them as a tank, but we definitely need one of them to be a mage. And it's so it's so cool. It really is amazing. But yeah, and then of course it tells you to type um, that and it will automatically whisper me or something like that. I'm not 100% sure I haven't used that uh, to the high functionality that it can be used for. But then there's also this like, this will just say I'm looking for a group, then I'm not starting a group, but then I'm looking for one. And it's the same thing. It'll say like, oh, looking for more, let's rock. You know what I mean? Talk. Anyway, so then that will be broadcast apparently over the, uh, the, the this like situation here you know what i mean and it's it's awesome honestly it's so cool it's such a great idea for classic i guess this has been around the whole time i'm not sure i thought this was made you know like kind of like questy was made for the server but uh apparently it's been around for a very long time i'm surprised i'm just hearing of it so hopefully you guys are already knowing about it but this video is pretty much solely to increase as much exposure as humanly possible I'm telling you, every single max level person on the server uses this add-on. Grouping would be so much better. And that is the big issue, if you ask me, with Classic. Uh, there's, I mean, of course, there's a few things that uh, could be improved on in Classic, but finding groups is such a freaking ball egg, man, especially on a server this big because you're spamming trade or world chat and you're just competing with so many other people you know what i mean you're you're all spamming for random groups and nobody wants to start the group themselves so this helps it out this is really a great functionality i'm telling you if anybody is going to do anything at level 60 or even while questing you know what i mean it's not the end of the world uh, it's it's really useful now there is one bug so there you go metro raffle looking for more let's talk because i spelled rock wrong uh, there is one bug that i'm noticing here i don't know if i can get it to replicate now but whenever i open this um this window the who window here now it's gonna like search i think it's in this log here yeah um, yeah, so it's going to try to search for these people to find out information about them so let's see if it happens here um, but what was happening before was as soon as I opened that window and then closed it, the next time it searches for somebody, it's going to open the window in the game and do it that way instead of like doing it behind the scenes, I guess. Um, so maybe it's maybe it's not happening now. Uh, maybe it's fixed. Oh, yeah. So there's another icon now for the CTA player looking for more. So that's cool. So very, very cool. Honestly, I love the idea behind this add on. Uh, but maybe this bug is is not actually happening now. I don't know what was causing it, but regardless, when I was doing this farm the other night, I was uh, I had the add-on up, and I was just constantly like the the social window kept popping up over and over again. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, please, please consider using this add-on. I have nothing to gain from promoting it. I'm telling you purely because it enhances the entire vanilla experience. One of the major issues with the game back then is now fixed because of a single add-on. So very good work to whomever created it and hope to see you guys in game. And once again, if you have any questions at all, just, just let me know.